Hi, my name is Kay Hippis and I'm the Liturgy Coordinator here at St. John's. We decided that it might be beneficial to have a server video so that you can watch it anytime that you feel like you need some um, reminders of what needs to be done when you're serving. So, to begin with, we ask that you come about 15 to 20 minutes before Mass actually starts. When you get here, you'll come into this room, which is called the sacristy, which is where the priest's vestments are, as well as the server vestments. When you come here, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go over to the calendar. <coughs> along this wall. And you're going to check to see what color it says. And the color that it, that it indicates will be the color of the sash that you will actually be putting on. So once you know the color, you'll walk over to the closet. And choose the robe that fits you the best. By the way, today um, acting in um, as our servers are Hannah Robinson and Juliana Van Boxel, and we thank them greatly for their time and helping us to do this. Thanks, ladies. Yep. Okay. If you're too tall for any of the vestments that are in this closet, you can also go into the closet next door, which is where Deacon Dave's vestments are, and you can use one of the vestments, the white robes that are in there as well. All right, once you get your robe on, you'll grab the correct colored sash, and then you need to tie the, the sash around your waist. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half, and then you're going to make, with the loop, you're going to fold the loop back and make a little hole where you can stick the other side into it and you're going to pull it tight and it will hang on the left side of your body. All right, once you're all set, you might have a few minutes to spare and then you can um, chit chat with Father if that's what you'd like to do. Otherwise, at about five minutes before Mass is to start, we go into the old sacristy to get some things done before Mass is actually going to begin. So let's go this way. Okay. One of the things you need to be aware of is the length of your robe and also the length of the sash. If you'll notice the, on our examples, one of them is just a little bit longer, maybe about five inches off the ground. The other one is maybe closer to ten. We would like it to be closer to the ground. So please be aware of that when you're trying them on and deciding what size. In addition, the sashes should hang down relatively far. There's a couple that are really short, so it, try to avoid using those unless you absolutely have to. Okay, so when right before Mass begins, you'll go into the old sacristy. One of the servers will actually go into the church, and they will grab the assembly prayer book, which is the book of prayers that people can write in for people that they have intentions for. They'll grab the assembly prayer book and bring it over to, the, to put it on the table next to where they will be sitting during Mass. This book will be used at a different part of the Mass. Then at this, right after that's done, then the server will go over to the stand where the um, candle lighter is. And it's easiest to leave the lighter on the stand when you light it. Make sure that there's about an inch and a half of the wicks out when, so that there's plenty of room for the candle to light. And then you'll go over and light the candles by the amble. So when it's time to extinguish the flame, there is a lever on the side that you'll pull down and that will extinguish it. If you ever find that you don't have enough wick, you will push that lever back up and the, and the whip comes back out. Once it is extinguished, you want to push the lever back up so that about an inch and a half of the wick is back out again. There are a lot of different items that are used during the Mass, so it's important as servers that you are familiar with what they are. The first thing is this red book, which the priest reads from. This is called our Roman Missal. You'll be carrying it over to the priest at two different times during the Mass, and so it's something that you need to be familiar with. Then we also have a glass bowl here, and this is for when the presider needs to wash his hands. So one of you will be carrying the bowl, and one will be carrying the towel over at a certain part during the Mass. We also have our bowls, which are what the Eucharistic ministers use to distribute the precious body. 
and those will be placed on the altar at a certain time during the Mass. We have what we call purificators, which are the white cloths that the Eucharistic ministers who distribute the precious blood will use to wipe off the cup. We have a water cruet, which you will be bringing over to the altar at a certain time so that the priest can use it to mix it in with the precious blood that he puts in his chalice. We have the priest's chalice. And then we have four chalices that will actually be filled with wine before Mass begins. The other server, in the meantime, is waiting in the old sacristy to, to turn the bells on. And that happens pretty much about five minutes before Mass. So while the other one server is inside the church, the other one is out here. There are three buttons next to this power box, and you will turn all three buttons on at the same time or right, next, right after each other. And you'll watch the clock and leave them on for about a minute and a half. Once the minute and a half is up, then the, bell, the bells can be turned back off. And both servers will walk back into the vesting sacristy to get ready to walk into church. At the time that Mass begins, we do a procession into church. Typically, we will have our commentator carrying the cross in. If the commentator and the lector are the same person, then we would have one of the servers carry the cross in. So in this situation, we'll have the server carry the cross in, and they will go first. So once that server puts the cross where it belongs, they will go and sit right at the chair, at the server's chair. Stand. Stand at the server's chair. Then the next person, once the person carrying the cross reaches the end of the carpeting, the next person carrying the Book of Gospels will come in. Once the person with the Book of Gospels reaches the end of the carpet, then the one or two servers that are remaining will walk in. And they will walk up and stand right before the sanctuary to wait for Father. When Father reaches the sanctuary, they will all bow together. And the servers will lead Father up onto the sanctuary and go to their seat. So, Mass will begin, Father will welcome everyone, and he will do the penitential rite. Following the penitential rite, we'll have the Gloria. At the, as the Gloria is coming to a close, one of the servers will grab the Roman Missal, and it's important that you put the binder, the binding, along the, your right arm, so that when you bring it to Father, he does not need to spin it around. So you'll walk over to Father, and you'll hold it. Let us pray. Blah, 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 blah. One God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Then Father will close the book carefully. The server will carry it back over to the table. Then it will be time for the Liturgy of the Word. It's important to remember that when the congregation is sitting, that's when the servers will be sitting typically as well for most of the Mass. So the servers at this time will be sitting and listening to the readings. They will stand when it's time for the Alleluia, and they will stand at the time that, it is, that we do the petitions as well. During the petitions is the next time that the servers actually have to be doing something besides staying by their chairs. When we get to the second last petition, the second last petition says that the faithfully departed, and oftentimes there's a name mentioned, 
have eternal rest in the kingdom of God. At that time when that petition is being read, one of the servers will grab the assembly prayer book and carry it over and stand by the ambo where the commentator is. During the last petition, the commentator will say, the prayers we hold in our hearts for those in our assembly prayer book. At that time, the server is going to hold the book up. The commentator is going to pause for, your, for a few seconds. Then the, the commentator will continue, and the server can bring the book back down, and after that petition, can bring it back over to the table. After the petitions are completed, it's time for the altar to be prepared for the consecration. So at this time, one of the servers will come, grab the candle, snuffer, and light, and go over and extinguish the candles at the anvil. They'll extinguish one, then use the other candle to light the lighter, and then extinguish that candle. Then they'll go to the front of the altar to light the two candles on the altar. While this is being done, the other server will be setting the altar. There are four things that they will need to put on the altar. They'll need to put the four chalices that are filled with wine, and those will go on the right-hand side of the altar. They'll take one of the white purificators and place them, that along with Father's chalice, in the middle of the altar. And then they'll take the Roman Missal and place that on the left side of the altar. Then this server will go back and wait at their chair. And at the same time, they will grab the plastic book stand and take it off the altar and put it underneath the table next to them. Then when it's time, they will follow, follow Father down to receive the gifts. Then they will lead Father back to the altar. And they will stand to the side and wait for him to take the gifts from them. He'll take the bowl of posts first, and at the time that he takes them, the server that had the bowl will go and get the water through it and bring it back over. Then Father will take the water through it, or the wine through it. It's nice to be able to grab the handle from the server. So he'll fill the wine, then he'll take the water through it, again by the handle. And when he's finished with both cruets, the servers walk back to the table, set the cruets down, one grabs the hand washing bowl, and one grabs the towel, and brings it back over to the altar. Altar is set and Father is standing at the altar for consecration. The servers will, again, be doing exactly what the congregation does. When the congregation is standing, which would be for the Holy Holy, the servers will be standing. After the Holy Holy for the con consecration, the servers will go back and they will kneel. And they will kneel until it's time to do the Our Father. Then they will stand and they will come in and stand in front of their chairs and say to our Father, and then it will be peace time. And at this time, Father will come and give them the sign of peace. <laughs> and then he will invite them to follow him out into the congregation to wish the sign of peace to others. Right, you're done. On the way back, giving the sign of peace, one of the servers will go over to the altar and grab the Roman Missal and put it back on the table. 
and the other server will bring the bowls and the rest of the purificators and put them on the altar. The, the bowls will go on the left-hand side where the Roman Missal was, and the purificators will go by the, by the chalices. At the time that the Eucharistic ministers come up for communion, the servers will step forward and stand in line with the Eucharistic ministers and receive communion at that time. Once the Eucharistic ministers step down to distribute to the congregation, then the servers will go back and, and kneel and say a prayer and either stay in the kneeling position or go back and sit in their chairs until after communion is completed. When Father is finished filling the smaller bowls with the consecrated hosts, one of the servers will take the bowl and put it back over onto the credence table. Then the servers are, are finished until after communion is completed. Once communion is completed, Father will be at the altar and he will be purifying the vessels. He will empty all of the bowls into the gold ciborium and one of the Eucharistic ministers will take that ciborium and carry it back to the tabernacle. Once they do that, the servers can come and take the bowls and put them back over onto the credence table. When this is done, the altar should be completely bare, except for the candlesticks. Then the servers will go and they will have a seat, and Father will have a seat, and they will wait and listen to the announcements. When the announcements are coming to a close, one of the servers will stand up. Father will stand. Father will stand. One of the servers will stand, grab the Roman Missal, and bring it over to Father. Again, with the binder binding to the on the right arm. Let us pray. Blah 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 through Christ our Lord. Then mass is at an end, and the servers will wait until Father goes and adores the altar. And they will follow him down. They will all bow together, and their servers will lead Father out of the church. After Mass is completed, one of the servers needs to come in and extinguish the candles that are on the altar. In addition, if the Easter candle is lit during the Easter season or because of a baptism, then that candle needs to be extinguished as well. Other than that, you hang your robes up, you hang the sashes up, and your job is complete.